Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's workout. So today we have a body weight workout and it is a pyramid. So what that means is we're gonna start with, well actually we've got three moves, and we're gonna start with one rep of each of those moves, and then we're gonna do two reps of each, three reps of each, all the way up to 10. So we do 10 reps of each, and then we'll make our way back down to one. So the reps are gonna increase and then decrease. Um, it might be a reverse pyramid actually, thinking about it because a pyramid would start with a high number, go up to a narrow number, uh, yeah. But anyway, that doesn't matter. <laughs> but yeah, so we've got three moves. Our moves for today, we're gonna do some squats, we're gonna do some press ups, and we do pairs of lunges. So the first round after we've done our warm up, we're gonna do one squat, one press up, one pair of lunges, so a lunge on each leg. Then you go on to two squats, two press ups, two pairs of lunges, three, 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 four, four, four. Like I said, all the way up to 10. And then once we've done 10, we'll go back to nine, eight, seven, all the way back down to one. Um, yeah, so you don't need any equipment, you just need yourself. A little bit of space around you. We don't anywhere this workout, which is quite nice, you don't need any equipment. Uh, but like I said, we'll get warmed up first. So to start with, we're gonna start with a few squats, not too many, but just to help mobilize through the body. So we're gonna push those hips back and down, keeping the chest lifted, nice strong core brace. And think about squeezing the legs and pushing the feet to the floor as we come back up from our squat. Okay, we've got two to go. Okay, next up we're gonna come into a roll down. So feet are comfortable distance apart, we'll drop the chin towards the chest, relaxing the arms and shoulders, a little bit of a bend in the knees. Then we just wanna roll as far towards the floor as we can. So we're just trying to mobilize through the back of the body. So we're trying to roll through every part of the spine, reaching as far towards the floor as we can. Don't worry if the hands don't reach the floor. And then we'll slowly roll back up to standing. And then we'll just repeat that a couple of times. One more roll down, and we're gonna hold this one at the bottom. Because then we're gonna bend the legs so we can bring the hands to the floor. We're gonna step the hands out, walk the hands out, so we come into a plank position, where we get a nice long line through the body, so we draw the abs in. Then I step the left foot forwards, so we come into a lunge position. Here we wanna squeeze the legs, that's gonna help look after the joints. Then we're gonna add in a little bit of rotation, taking the left hand up towards the ceiling. So look out over that left thigh. We'll bring the hand back to the floor. We'll step the foot back. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Right foot comes forwards. Keep that squeeze to the legs. We take the right hand towards the ceiling. And then we'll bring the hand back down. And we'll step back. And we'll just do that two more times on each side. Keeping it it's nice and steady. Keep the squeeze through the legs. So the last one on each side. And we step the feet back. We'll walk the hands back towards the feet. So we come back into that forward fold. And then we'll roll up to standing. And then we'll just do a couple more squats. Pushing those hips back and down. Keeping the chest lifted, nice strong core brace. And just, these ones should feel a little bit better. Everything should feel a little bit looser, a little bit more mobile. last one and then we can rest hey fluffs but help it today okay so we're gonna start round one one air squat one press up one lunge on each leg and then you're going to your round of two your round of three 
etc etc take your time focus on your range of movement focus on your form it doesn't have to be quick or it shouldn't be quick we want to keep a nice steady tempo on all of them and like i said range of motion uh, press ups we can lower to the knees at any point you might be able to start on the toes but as you get further in you might need to lower your knees take a break at any point as well that's that's absolutely fine like i said complete it at your pace okay we ready for round one though we'll go in three two one let's start so we'll push those hips back and down we'll come back up for a squat we'll come down to the floor for our first press up with our hands are wide we lower down as close towards the floor as we can then we'll press back up and then we'll come into our lunge on each leg where we take the back knee down making sure we keep the front heel down stepping over and changing and then we've got two of each Again, thinking about that range. On the press-ups, the elbows track slightly back, the hands are wide. We keep that nice strong core brace. So the chest and hips lower at the same time. Nice that they can be done on the knees or toes. On the lunge, we just take that back knee as low to the floor as we feel we can. And like I said, just go at your pace. Good range of move movement. Keeping that technique nice and solid. And with the lunges, try and keep your feet hip width apart as well. That's gonna give you a nice stable base. If you smile during the whole of this, it's gonna feel better too. So this is my round of five. If it feels more comfortable to do all your lunges on one leg before you swap over, that's fine. count and on the squats and lunges you really want to think about squeezing through those legs on the squats is that nice straight line at the top not pushing the hips through though we're really making sure we squeeze those glutes And it soon starts to add up. Because all those reps start to accumulate. Accumulate. Oh, I can't speak now. So I'm on my round of eight on the way up.
you guys are doing awesome. So remember, you need to stop. Feel free to stop, take a little breather, grab a drink, slow it down. If you need to lower to your knees for the press ups, we can lower onto the knees. We want to keep that strong brace through the core the whole time. So on the press ups, shoulders and hips are lowering at the same rate. Okay, so my round of 10. Okay, so now we go back to nine. After you've done that round of 10. So we're over halfway. And that, this might be, we need to start dropping to the knees if we weren't before. If we can't, we're gonna stay on the toes. You guys are doing awesome though, keep going. Awesome work. And like I said, keep going at your own pace. Take a breather, pause the video if you need to.
So I'm on my round of six. On the way back down. Getting close to the end. And these rounds get a little bit harder as well, because we start to have less rest between the moves. Almost there. Round of three. Round of two. And last one for me. Oh, there you go. That's the end of the workout. Oh, how you're feeling? Did you manage the whole thing in the press ups on your toes? Or did you need to change your knees? Always love to know. So if you drop me a comment below, let me know how you got on. That'd be awesome. If you like the video as well, that'd be really, really awesome. I hope you enjoyed that workout. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Take care. We'll see you all very, very soon.